President Lemke. Good evening. I've come here tonight to clarify something that I feel responsible for. But I'll get to that in just a moment. The board received 13 applications for trustee, which is wonderful. And I'm sure that you are all pleased that so many residents were willing to volunteer for a task I think most of you would agree is pretty thankless. Out of those 13 applicant, applicants, one is not a resident, so 12 were interviewed. At this time, the half of the district located in the village of Niles is represented by six trustees while the half an unincorporated main township is not represented at all. Of the 12 candidates, exactly one lives in the unincorporated section of the district. The, this candidate, Umer Abdul Qadir, volunteered to become a trustee when he first moved to the district last year, having been a trustee at the Des Plaines Public Library. He was very clear that he is a new resident. You can blame a lot of people for the mistake that was made in appointing Mr. Kadir as trustee before one year of residence. You can absolutely blame me as director at the time. You could blame the previous board president. You can blame the library attorney. You can blame the statute, which I did consult, but which does not mention needing to be a resident for one year in the section on filling vacancies. You can blame the entire previous board who did not refresh their memories on the wording of the statute. Though I wonder how many of the current or previous trustees consulted the statute before they circulated petitions. I'm guessing zero. The board who appointed Mr. Kadir voted unanimously and were enthusiastic about his appointment. Voting to appoint were Karen Diamond, Linda Ryan, Diane Olson, Patty Rosansky, Sue Wilsey, and Carolyn Durblin. On being informed of the one-year requirement, Mr. Kadir immediately stepped down and reminded the board that he told them in the interview that he had recently moved into the district. Anyone who says or insinuates that he was untruthful in any way is lying or listening to a liar. Mr. Kadir is a scientist. He is also a patent attorney. He lives in unincorporated Maine Township. He is a person of color. He speaks another language, Urdu. He is experienced as a library trustee. In meetings, he was unfailingly courteous, made intelligent comments, did not ever lose his temper, and voted independently. Board members do not usually have the opportunity to choose their fellow board members, but this time you do. If you choose not to select Mr. Kadir, you are telling the taxpayers in unincorporated Maine Township that they don't count. You are telling them that appointing another white Niles resident is more important than getting representation for half of your district and for the many people of color who reside in both halves of the district. I encourage the board to take advantage of their rare opportunity to appoint a knowledgeable, thoughtful, experienced trustee while you can forthwith. Forthwith comes from the statute. The statute says that vacancies are to be filled forthwith. This vacancy has been open for several months now. Forthwith means immediately. Thank you. 